Welcome back. Now today's video will be a certificate review for one of the popular certificates in Coursera. The certificate is IBM IT Fundamentals for Cybersecurity. Now why I'm reviewing this certificate guys because this cert or this specialization is considered prerequisite for IBM Cybersecurity Analyst. So if you're trying uh, to pass IBM Cybersecurity Analyst and take the full specialization co uh, certificate and you failed for more than one time, then I would recommend you to take IT Fundamentals for Cybersecurity, complete the course, it is fairly easy, and then step to IBM Cybersecurity Analyst. Now, this course, they didn't say that this course is prerequisite, right? You don't need to take it in order to enroll for IBM Cybersecurity Analyst. But uh, in terms of knowledge and organizing your, uh, let's say, your game, you need first to take IBM IT Fundamentals for Cybersecurity from IBM and then go to IBM Cybersecurity Analyst. Now, let's review IT Fundamentals for Cybersecurity from IBM. Okay, now this course is consisted of four weeks, all right, and in order to pass, you have to only pass these required quizzes. There are no labs, no uh, final assessment. All you have to do, go to the videos, um, review the knowledge, and then pass the required quizzes. That's how to pass the course. And of course, we can go to discussion forums, and if you have something to ask, or if there is something uh, that has popped up in your mind, you can go to the week to the uh, discussion forums and ask about the thing you are looking uh, an answer for. Okay, now let's talk about the knowledge. Now, what you're gonna gain out of this course? So basically, as the title suggests, IT fundamentals for cybersecurity, which means that if you have no pre-knowledge in IT, right, and you want to enroll in cybersecurity, you can take this course from IBM. It will set the fundamentals and the ground knowledge uh, in the IT field in order to prepare you for the cybersecurity. Okay, now what is the content? So we go on basically the course is, you know, cybersecurity roles, processes, and operating system security. So here they talk about what are the roles and the positions in the organization that has cybersecurity team, right? The chief information officer, the cybersecurity analyst, the chief, inform uh, the chief security officer, uh, all of these positions. They talk about these positions and roles, and they explain what you need to know about each so basically, also as you can see, overview of people, process, and technologies. Now, if we scroll down, frameworks, policies, and roles. So here you will see uh, what a typical organization uh, would have uh, in terms of you know information security uh, policies and roles. So, for example, the password policy, the uh, uh, the acceptable use policy. All of these security policies that you would see in information security program. They laid down all of these in this module here, of course, briefly. And of course, the frameworks, if you go to frameworks, so they make the difference between standards, best practices, baselines, frameworks, you know, the frameworks, copy IT, uh, the ISO, all of these kind of thing, things, you will find it here. And also they review the ITIL, the service management, Certificate. If you have heard about this cert, it is for IT service management. And if you have worked in the IT field before, and you were required to have you were required to be certified, they would require to pass ITIL. Now here in this course or in this model, they, they explain about this framework and how you can use this framework to advance your knowledge in the IT field. Okay, let's go back. We go. On. All right. So. We go we scroll down. So that's it for this week. You establish base or ground knowledge for the positions in a cyber cybersecurity positions, roles, people, uh, the frameworks, the best practices, the policies, 
these kind of you know administrative stuff. Let's go to week two. So week two here, they talk about, as you can see, um, the principles of the CIA trial, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And if you are getting started in information security, you must have heard about this term, right? And what does every uh, aspect of it means? So here, the confidentiality, how each of these aspects applies in the cybersecurity arena. So how to achieve confidentiality, in encryption, how to maintain integrity, keeping your files from being modified, availability, keeping your files and your server up to date and uh, reachable all the time. They, all, they laid out everything, you know, uh, theoretically. Okay, let's go down, scroll, scroll. Of course, you see the readings, model, and every course. If you're a beginner, I recommend you to take a look at this. Uh, we go down, the AAA for the authorization, authentication, accountability. And, uh, you know, if you have uh, some experience in Active Directory or, do, or uh, Windows Server, uh, and you have installed Radio Server. Radio Server is a kind of authentication server that uses protocol. So I hope you have heard about this. Here they give you an introduction about the OWASP. And that's it for week two. Now week three, <coughs> here they start to give you some idea about how to uh, look from a security perspective into operating systems. So here they talk about Windows, security basics, as you can see what's the difference between user and kernel mode, the file system structure, um, simple stuff, right? The Linux, file systems, basic commands, permissions, uh, you know, these kind of elementary stuff that you uh, need to know before you get started. You know, you, you cannot just go to, go and install Kali Linux, start penetration testing or some kind of, you know, and you don't know how to use Linux, right? Okay, if you go down here, Mac OS, um, technically I don't work or I don't have enough experience with Mac OS, so I cannot give you how can you use this. But it's knowledge anyway. Week four, <clears throat> virtualization. Now the virtualization guys, it is it doesn't teach you how to use VMware or VirtualBox. It gives you the baselines, or the, it gives you the foundations of the uh, virtual machines, the hypervisor, this kind of stuff. It doesn't go into details with techni with technicalities like the the ASX server, the uh, uh, this kind of stuff. Just theoretical, the extent the type of clouds, hybrid, public, how cloud works, virtualization basics, and that's it. So pretty basic stuff, but it is very important if you have been trying and without without success and this certificate, and you're just trying to look for answers for the final assessment, uh, guys, just take this course, bear with it. Pass it. Make sure you make sure <laughs> make sure you read every sing single word right before attempting the quizzes. Don't just go to the quizzes and pass them in order to get the certificate. I see many people do that, and if you are doing that and you're just chasing the certificate, imagine what would happen to you when you get hired, all right? And the employer would set a technical interview to test your knowledge, and you and then you failed to demonstrate that. Why? Because you don't read, and you don't uh, bother to read the details. And I received so many inquiries about this IBM cybersecurity and how to pass the assessment. I mean, how can, I mean, this certificate, I think it's gonna have some future in the industry. So if you get hired, as I told you, and you don't know how to use this knowledge, and you just passed it, um, with luck or you just you're just sitting all day trying over and over again to pass the course and you passed it but you lack the knowledge so the certificate would do nothing for you in this case that's that's why if you're willing to learn these two courses they're like couples right you cannot separate them if you're just getting started and you have failed the assessment here right go back here finish these then go again over these courses, the videos, the transcripts, and then attempt this. And I'm sure you would pass. It's not rocket science. All right. 
Do you have it? IBM. Okay, I, I forgot how the certificate looks like. Okay, let's go. Now, the IBM IT Fundamentals for Cybersecurity Cert looks like uh, looks like what? Okay, let's take this to the side. I'm going to tell you about this. Okay, this one. So IT fundamentals for cybersecurity looks like this, right? Pretty basic cert, actually. And here you get the transcript of the, it's like transcript, right? It's not great, yeah, these aren't great. Transcript of um, courses you have passed. Okay, I want to tell you about this security analyst fundamentals. Now, security analyst fundamentals includes only three courses, pen testing, incident response, cyber threat intelligence, cyber security capstone. Now, these three courses are part of, part of, and part of the IBM cyber security analyst. So if you pass these three courses, you may gain the cert security analyst fundamentals. Now, security analyst fundamentals and IT fundamentals for cybersecurity are much pretty different, right? So this one assumes that you have the basic ground knowledge of IT and some uh, elementary knowledge in the security field so that you can start this course and learn about pen testing, intelligence, and capstone, reach response, case studies. All right, guys. So I will link down to the review of IBM Cybersecurity Analyst if you want to watch it. And that's it for this course. Thank you so much.